Let us venture back to the period of Dr. Peter Drucker, the founder, one of the founders at least, of Total Quality Management, also known as TQN. Now you may ask, what are the relationships, if any, to digital transformation? And more or less, why is that significant to the development of a boilers trade system? Now, Dr. Peter Drucker offers a glimpse of both digital transformation and the beginnings of developing a borderless trade system when he once commented on total quality management. Dr. Peter Drucker once stated that you don't start with putting in machines. You start with looking at the work process. You start with engineering the work, not engineering the actual machines, and not engineering the actual material flow. Now, what Professor Drucker touched on was three key elements to the advancement of digital transformation, but also boilers trade system. These key elements include engineering the action material flow, which could be evidence in data analytics, engineering the actual work process, which is evidence in the use of blockchain technology, as well as distributed ledger technology, and engineering the actual, or at least the evidence of, or use of robotics which is shown in artificial intelligence. Now, let us reason together and let's discuss how digital transformation will create a borderless trade system. In today's global economy, trade can run up against a variety of challenges. These challenges include weak sourcing and tracking of information and data analytics, small and medium enterprises not having access to capital at a global stage, and a lack of regulatory guidance. To the credit of prudential regulators, they have been given more guidance by using more sandboxes for thin technology and reg technology firms. And also, they've also been using digital currencies, particularly at the central bank level for central bank digital currencies, which are being implemented now or at least being tested. As we look to the future, the digital world promises a resolution providing artificial intelligence, both machine learning and deep learning, third wave AI, data analytics that includes both natural language processing as well as specification management, and blockchain, which includes both digital distributed ledger technology. These solutions will pave the way for a borderless trade system and offer tangible solutions enhancing cross-border transactions that includes both supply chains, manufacturing firms, payments and settlements and custody, and paved the way for the, for the future. So according to Twilio, COVID-19 has accelerated digital communications strategy by an average of 90, uh, 97%, six years ahead, basically. And a lot of these decision makers believe that the pandemic has increased the digital transformation strategy. I frequently speak to executives around the globe and a good 80% believes that their digital transformation strategy has been increased by the actual pandemic itself, mainly in operations and mainly in finance. So that leads to the origin of digital transformation. This could be tied to a bit of total quality management, but to a larger degree to the use of data management. Specifically, how data is being used, how data is being sourced, how it's being tracked, and how it's being analyzed. Data used in natural language processing and tracking of specifications and particularly raw materials, ingredients, and operations can greatly enhance data analytics. It could also greatly enhance supply chains and manufacturing. Both supply chains and manufacturing rely on transparency and traceability of raw materials and data and meeting both regulatory standards and both natural standards too, and national standards. Management as well as executives benefit by this by using raw and real-time data and charts that can help solve problems and challenges in both cross-border trade such as anti-bribery and anti-corruption, third-party vendor risk, intellectual property, and data privacy as we have been witnessing in GDPR. As data become more digitally transformed and relied upon, industries ranging from food 
and beverages to beauty and consumer goods and heavy industries are beginning to rely on auditing of specifications for transparency, traceability, and most importantly, meeting consumer and corporate expectations in product authenticity, such as sustainability and organic labeling. Here's where blockchain and distributed ledger technology greatly enhances both supply chain management and manufacturing by offering a source and secure traceable data system. This also can be applied to artificial intelligence too. Blockchain technology, may I ask, what is it? And in brief and short, it is one where transactions occur between two parties without an interference of a third party vendor. So it is a decentralized system. However, that data is being secured on the cloud. The application of blockchain technology, particularly becoming more, is becoming more commonplace and making a borderless trace system a reality. For example, you're finding more of the applications of blockchain technologies as, as evidence in e-commerce, in peer-to-peer -peer lending, in central bank transactions and global payments and settlements, and in the form of digital currency uh, transaction. And that's being done in the level of central bank digital currencies. That's being covered in the level of foreign trade as well as in terms of foreign exchange. Now here's the key here. The record keeping feature of blockchain technology further enhances cross-border transactions and cross-border trade and to a large degree make it a borderless uh, transaction as members on that platform for multiple jurisdictions and countries have access to data and that can make, they can make financial decisions. As global firms become more reliant on the efficiency of data and efficiency of blockchain technology, they will seek upon using artificial intelligence. Here is where artificial intelligence, particularly machine learning and deep learning, and now going forward, third wave AI plays an important role in terms of looking at that particular data for efficiency and reliability and providing that back on the management. Now, if we put this together on a particular system, on one particular platform, we are able to address key elements within the supply chain, but most important, key elements within the stakeholders. Those stakeholders include consumers, commercial industry, governments, as well as individuals. And the minute you actually tap those particular stakeholders, you are able to present a borderless trade and borderless transaction system. This is what digital transformation will bring it will hit on the key of data management. It will use a bit of borderless trade transaction for blockchain technology. And we'll also touch on the element of artificial intelligence, which will create a borderless trade system in the future. Thank you.